So I'm not big on big dualies and stuff like that, but I can certainly appreciate these old uh, one ton trucks. This is an 84. With a manual, probably a four speed. A lot of tank. And I gotta record this one here for my buddy Dustin. I know that he'd be amazed with this car. He probably already knows who it is and what it is. Little Corolla, these were rear wheel drive, four cylinder. Sorry for the wind. Man, that is a clean car. I wouldn't hesitate to drive one. And last year, Mr. Hot Rod gave us a shout on the YouTube channel. That's right. How did that work out for you? That was pretty good. Nice. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Doing some more work here this year? I am. I started that. I did a truck earlier. I got this welder to do. I did this side already. Oh, nice. So, guys, if you don't know who he is, check him out on Instagram. Von Hot Rod. Von Everything Hot Rod. Von Everything. Hot Rod. It's easy. Yeah. Easy. I'm easy to find. You know, what, what can I say? Just, a little bit just, unique. Little, yeah. Just, <laughs> just like the rest of us. I know, real strange. You know how the weird ones come from California? That's the problem. Well, you know, you haven't been here long enough. We have the nice weather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's kind of scary now, yeah. Anyways, take care. Thank you. We'll see you guys later.
We featured this car last year. This is a right-hand drive. And it is a Toyota, but it's a Toyota Crown. It's not something they make over here. It looks like it's got a inline, uh, inline six cylinder with a turbo. And he just recently got done putting a manual swap into this thing. This is a pretty cool car, believe it or not. Well, as we make our way back through the last stretch of cars, as you can tell by my sweat, it is roasting out here today. So we're gonna make our way back through and uh, pick up on a few last vehicles. So uh, catch up with you in a minute. If there's one thing I'm a sucker for, it's orange cars and Mopars, and this one fits the bill twofold. Here's another one for you, Terry. Now this is the second time we've seen this car. We did see it on Father's Day in Fredericton, and I couldn't help but stop and take a look at it again. 1978 Honda Civic. So guys, this is Brody. He's the owner of the 78 Civic. Yeah, so 78. Tell me a little bit about the car, how you got it, and what kind of inspired you to, uh, well, to, sh to show it off. I've kind of always been a Honda lover there, and I've had a couple other cars. I ended up getting this one here from a good buddy of mine. He, uh, him and his wife went through a divorce and I bugged him for a few years to, to sell it to me. So he got a hold of me there and he said, yeah, I think it's time to sell the car there. And so I hooked onto it, brought it home and gave it a good once over. Uh, what I ended up getting it, it had about three inches of dust on it. The paint was actually the way it was right now. Uh, over the winter, I took the engine all apart and redid it inside out, upside down and backwards. Uh, a good friend of mine did all the interior. Uh, yeah, it's just an old Honda, you know, yep. they're hard not to love. Well, one thing that I do on my channel is we've got, uh, it's basically mostly about cars. I've got a used car dealership in St. Stephen, and we do a lot with what we classify, we kind of coined the term odd body. So things that you just don't see every day. That's right. Yeah. And I've got a Chrysler Cordoba, so it's a great okay. big boat. You just, when you go to car shows like this, I've only seen like two of them so far. So when you come to a car show and you don't see your own car, everything that you see, <laughs> I call that an odd body. Yeah, so I really no, like seriously. your car and I appreciate you taking the time to uh, chat with me. Thanks, man. I appreciate Great. it. Take care. I'm leaving the crossfire. I'm a stranger to this feeling in my soul. It's leaving the crossfire. You can blame anyone else for what you've done. I'm leaving the
Well, sometimes when you're leaving the car show, you see better vehicles in the parking lot before you get there than actually in the show. For me, it's this Blazer. And that's it, guys. Part two of two of the 2019 Atlantic Nationals Car Show in Moncton, New Brunswick. I hope you really enjoyed that and some of the interviews that I got. And uh, we hope to get to more car shows in the very, very near future. This video is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. Their link is in the description box below. Matt White over there at Sussex has been sponsoring me for quite a while now. If you need any beard products or even shave products for those guys who shave, so go over to Sussex Beard right now and see what they have for you. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show Season 2 premieres tonight over on Straight Six Fans page and you guys can go over there and subscribe to him and that way you get notified when we go live. Next week it'll be on my channel. Show starts at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern and 9 Atlantic. We do have a lot of fun. We talk a lot about cars and YouTubing in the YouTube community and help grow everybody's channel and uh, give a few shout outs along the way. So if you guys are interested in cars, you're not going to want to miss the Car Guy and Six Fan Show season premiere starting tonight. Guys, as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Do it again in the next video. Acting like you're into me I know this is hopeless